I just want a boyfriend that'll be giving me 70% out of his daily income. Um, but your Twitter name is Miss Independent? What? That makes sense. Miss Independent, but wants 70% of your boyfriend's income. Right. Hey, what's up, cuties? My name's Fainted, and welcome to Cringe, the series where we take a look at the most epic, funny cringe moments from all across the internet. Subscribe right now, or Lightning McQueen will come to your house and drive over your garden. No joke. You matched with a hot girl. Play it cool. Hey, what's up? Who says what's up? Oh no, you're one of those. One of those? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> yep, guys, this is uh, not, not gonna get you laid on uh, Tinder, okay? All right, next up, we got Jake Paul, cringe McGregor wannabe. And yeah, this video basically just shows like how Jake Paul's trying to copy Conor McGregor. <laughs> so you see him doing this stuff, right? Okay, the little knife to the throat type beat. And then watch JP coming out with the same moves, baby. <laughs> I don't know. To be fair, he does want to fight Conor McGregor. So maybe, maybe that's why he's doing it, trying to get his attention or whatever. Goes in for the little come here bro fist. And Jake Paul does the same thing. Okay, buddy. Nice. You know, dude, I'm not even going to say anything uh, disrespectful to Jake Paul. Because honestly, I've seen him throw hands. Now. I'm not trying to get scrapped out, okay? So yeah, Jake, just keep doing your thing, bro. You look beautiful. Do you realize that doxing is a crime? <laughs> Please show me the law. And then this dude sends through an actual link to the law. I'm not reading that. I mean, you literally just asked for it, but okay. Classic Twitter, man. He caught you cheating and didn't fight the man to save your relationship? <laughs> Stay safe, queen. You deserve better. What? It's like... <laughs> okay. TikTok logic, right? You cheat on your boyfriend, your man, whatever. And when he catches you, he decides to end the relationship. Just give up on you, whatever. Walk out. Like, yeah, guys, if you catch your girlfriend cheating on you, just, just make sure you do a little 1v1 on Rust with uh, the other guy. I mean, yeah, totally. Like, who wouldn't want to win back a girl who's just cheated on them? Yeah. Yeah, definitely worth fighting for. My friend's giving me relationship advice. My boyfriend won't be home for my birthday. That's what happens when you have only one. <laughs> Absolutely genius, dude. Like, why have one boyfriend when you can have five? Next up, this video is dated for anyone who's ever said, Ew, TikTok. People be like, Ew, TikTok? That's so cringe. Why do you create a now? Why do you join? Why are you watching this? Because you want to be cool like us? Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> yep. I mean, she makes a good point, bro. She makes a good point. Like, yeah, if you ever say, Ew, TikTok, it's actually because you want to be cool like the people on TikTok, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, next up we got this TikTok, and um, it may look like a little lineup outside of the Supreme store, but it's not quite what it appears, okay? So we got this massive line of people all lined up, right? And you may be wondering, what's around this wall? What could it be? Is Justin Bieber around there, bro? Is everyone waiting to get a selfie? But, um, no. Turns out everyone's actually lining up for this. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Yep. That's right, guys. <laughs> that is what the line is for. So people can get a nice little Snapchat flex with, uh, these wings. The dedication, dude, to getting Instagram likes is just fantastic. I honestly thought I was looking at a Supreme drop at the start of this video. My 15-year-old son, Jake, is an aspiring comic artist. Here's the latest from his bedroom door whiteboard. And here we have a nice little drawing from Jake's door comics with 119k upvotes, okay? But someone on Reddit decided to say this. This isn't even funny. And the kids' other stuff isn't funny. I've seen thousands of 15-year-olds that were funnier. Super depressing. <laughs> What? Why would you ever feel the need to comment this on someone's artwork? Especially a 15-year-old's dude. This is the type of dude to see a four-year-old child draw some artwork and be like, Huh, that sucks, you can't even draw, kid. Hey, YouTube, maybe don't put ads before first aid vids. I don't have time to watch a red lobster ad when my grandma is choking on a fishbone. And YouTube says, Sorry to hear about the trouble. YouTube Premium offers an ad-free experience when you watch videos. Learn more here. Hope this helps. 
like this dude's grandma <laughs> literally ends up dying all because they weren't willing to spend $15 on YouTube premium. Even the Royal Guard couldn't handle the cringe. And um, yeah, someone's busting out some TikTok moves, baby. Jeez. He's about to brave fist this dude for sure. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's like, see you later, baby. Just think of all the training you have to do to become a royal guard, okay? Protecting Her Majesty the Queen. And then your job comes down to this. Standing outside of the crib with uh, people doing TikTok dances next to you. Chief. Next up, we got a nice little relationship tutorial here. If she's sleeping, wake her up with a kiss on the forehead. She's sleeping, wake her up with a kiss on the forehead. Trust me, that is the best way. Hey Carson, it's your Aunt Melissa. Um, I'm a little shocked that you're on TikTok and you didn't tell me. Um, I also saw some of your videos and you've never had a girlfriend. Why are you giving all of this advice on dating? Um, also, this video I'm stitching here, do not be telling these boys and men to wake us up. Do you hear me, young man? <laughs> Do not tell them to wake us up. I don't want a kiss on the forehead in the morning. I want to be left alone. I know you like your mom kissing you on the forehead, but leave me alone, okay? Do another video and tell them to leave us alone. Bye. See you, sweetie. <laughs> Homie just got caught in 4K, baby. Actually, you know, he got caught in 720p HD. Poor guy, you know, he's just, he's trying to give us some relationship advice here or whatever, just girl advice in general. Waking up a girl with a little cute kiss on the forehead, you know, girls love it, right? But little did he know, his own aunt was going to hop onto TikTok and flame him. <laughs> when she even said he'd never had a girlfriend, oh my gosh. I thought your family's supposed to love you, not roast you. You're cute, but... You watch anime. I bet I can guess your favorite TV show. Uh, Riverdale. Yeah, the epic highs and lows of high school football. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If anyone ever looks at you and says you're cute, but you watch anime, it probably is a ten out of ten chance that their favorite TV show is Riverdale. Honestly. <laughs> I just don't get it, bro. If someone's cute and they watch anime, if anything, that should be a bonus, bro. You're cute and you watch anime? Oh, baby. No, but honestly, um, let's just pay our respects right now for this guy's little pistol whip skills. My gosh. You come across this kid in an MW2 lobby and you're going to get destroyed. Dude's got the sleight of hand perk on, man. <laughs> if you're cheating and he catches you, break up with him. Because he don't trust you. And that's toxic. You deserve better. My clown detector is off the charts. <laughs> yeah, how could you distrust someone who's cheating on you? It's almost as if that actually makes sense. It's like the guy's like, hmm, I, th I think my GF's cheating on me. Oh, she is. Like, yeah, being right, toxic, bro. Of course. Hey there. You've got a cute face. I'm gonna pretend that isn't a backhanded compliment. Wait, how would it be backhanded? Just do yourself a favor. Next time you're hitting on a chubby chick, Tell her she's gorgeous. Tell her she's freaking hot. Tell her you want to worship every inch of her gorgeous curves. Don't tell her she has a pretty face. It makes it sound like you're really pretty. Too bad you're fat. <laughs> what? This guy hits her with a compliment of you've got a cute face. And she's like, how dare you? Okay. Men opening doors for women is a symbol of aggressive patriarchy. Men are saying, you may enter or leave this place, but only on my say-so. A man opening and holding a door open for a woman is him subconsciously reminding her that all men are in control of a woman's choices. Ah, yes. I dash ahead of women and hold the door closed from the other side, so they have to fight me for it. The way she knows she defeated the patriarchy fair and square to open her own door. OMG. <laughs> Wow, dude, who'd have known opening a door up for someone trying to be polite is actually a way of trying to control their choices. I like, dude, if someone wants to open a door for me, I I'm not going to complain, but that's just me. 
I'm not really like the other kids. If you think I am a kid, then you can. But I don't hack because I think it's cool. I hack because I lost someone close to me. <laughs> it's so sad. Please uh, drop a like on the video right now, guys. Let's get 69,000 likes to pay our respects. I've never really heard of that as like a reason to hack. Like, okay, so someone close to you dies, right? Why does that make you want to hack kids on Discord? <laughs> Yo, just lost my dog called Lord Johnny. He was a great dog. I'm gonna pay my respects, and I'm gonna hack everybody's freaking Facebook accounts. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, click on the screen if you want to check out more, and I'll see you on the next one. Much love. Peace.